Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, How to Browser Europe channel, and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can fix um, crashing, freezing, or stuttering, even lag in Rust. So, um, and if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Will help a lot this my YouTube channel. Subscribe or like, and we'll, I really appreciate that. Will help a lot this my YouTube channel. All right, so. I'll thank you for doing that, first of all, and now let's jump right into the video. And I'm going to show you how you can fix this. So, the first thing that you always have to do, and this happened to me when I tested uh, Warzone on this laptop, there are a lot of problems with a lot of uh, lag, okay? Not only lag, but the game started to stutter and also freeze, freeze the lots. And um, I fixed this problem by simply going to um, graphics, graphics, sorry, graphics settings. And here, go to in here in the search list and here, please write, um, here, please write Rust. And once you located Rust, please click on it and then click on Options and here select your GPU, alright? So I was playing Warzone and the uh, GPU was set to power saving, so I really hope this is going to help you. Or I really hope that this helped me and also as well as updating graphic cards, so if you go right here, graphic settings, sorry, not here, I'm sorry. If you go to device manager and you go to display adapters, make sure you update your driver from here, here as well. You can also go to update and browse my computer for, and let me pick a list of available drivers on my computer and make sure maybe they're here available. Um, a compatible hardware for you that you can update and use and click on next this is going to update your driver and also please guys goes to GeForce experience and from here you can also update your driver and your you can update to the latest drivers um, and that's very important as well okay and here guys please go to drivers and here Click on these three dots and select Game Ready uh, Ready Driver. I have Studio Driver selected because I'm using more DaVinci Resolve and I like more experience for apps for editing. But I will change to Game Ready when I'm if I'm playing a game. And now here, check if there's any available driver and make sure you download the latest driver and and uh, update. Okay, and also you can go to details on the game. Okay, obviously you don't have to go to DaVinci, go to the game, please. Please, and here you can click on Optimize. This can also improve and fix the lag. Please do this as well. And here, guys, you should have an option to change to the best, to best performance. Alright, but uh, can you click here, Optimize, and here... Where you see optimize, you should have an option for Rust to set to high performance. And this is for this method. Now I'm going to show you the next method. Make sure you also, if you want Rust to run um, without any any freezing or problems, make sure, please, to go to properties. And here, make sure you go to compatibility and run at this program as administrator. And... Click on apply and OK, OK? It's very important. And also, please, guys, guys, to go to here in the in uh, power options. OK, this is super important. And make sure you change power settings. And here you change to best performance, maximum processor state. When it's plugged in 100%, 100%. Uh, here minimum, to still minimum 100%, 100%. Please 
do this as well apply and okay and if you have guys any application running in the background while you're playing the game this might be um obvious or uh, dumb moment for you i don't know but i i think it's important to mention this like don't run any live full paper type of stuff in the background while you're playing the game this will really take percentage take a lot of process of power so please don't do this this will really impact your performance why well, i recommend you to obviously go and right click on the app that you know you don't use and simply remove it okay exit from that and also another thing that you should try is to go to the the game okay and then there what you have to do and here go to rust and right click and select properties i tried this i had a problem with a game and this fixed the problem go to go to go to general and here make sure you disable enable the steam overlay while in game this can really impact performance in the game and also you can add here this uh this copy this and uh, put it there okay paste the code there okay i have 60 gigabytes and uh, because of that, I'll copy this for 60. If you have uh, 64, copy this. If you have 24, copy this. Okay, and copy this. I'll leave the this code in the description of this video. Copy and paste this. And if it works and improves the game, you can leave it on. And But if it doesn't do nothing, you can remove it from here. But yeah, you can try this. I've um, seen this. I've read somewhere, and this works for some people, and that's why I I wanted to show you this as well. Maybe you didn't know though about this, guys. So that's uh, why I decided to show this, uh, show you to copy this code as well. But I don't know, guys. That's it, and uh, I hope this video helped you. I hope this video provides you value and great informations and helped you to fix this problem because i know it's very annoying when you're just trying to play the game trying to play with your bodies but the game is crashing so i hope this video helped you i would really like you to let me know in the comment section to leave your thoughts down below to leave your you know your feedback i already like to know if this video helped you guys if not i'll look for other ways to fix the problem and and also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, I really appreciate it, it will help a lot this YouTube channel. And I'll see you now guys in the next video, take care.